You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa attended the foundation stone laying ceremony of the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center in Sakhir, which took place under the patronage of His Royal Highness. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince stated that the kingdom's rapid development and modernization across a wide range of fields confirms Bahrain is progressing towards achieving its development goals. He stressed the importance of continuing to promote Bahrain as a key tourism and investment destination in order to support the kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty. King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the significant growth of the exhibition and convention sector, which has transformed Bahrain into the destination of choice for a number of high level international and regional events, as well as a number of corporate activities throughout the year. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then proceeded to lay the foundation stone of the future convention center, underlining its importance as a means to attract even more events to the kingdom. He added that the new convention center reflects the kingdom's efforts to increase competitiveness, contribute to economic diversification and growth, and meet the aspirations of Bahraini citizens. During the ceremony, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, expressed appreciation for the ongoing support His Royal Highness the Crown Prince has shown towards the International Exhibition and Convention Center project, remarking that it will significantly strengthen the Kingdom's event infrastructure and enable Bahrain to host greater numbers of larger events in the future. Zayani concluded by noting that the Convention Center will be a model site characterized by an imposing infrastructure as well as the highest standards in technology and service. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was accompanied by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. A number of senior officials also attended the ceremony.
The National Guard Commander General His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa inaugurated the Military Consumer and Economic Association branch in Sukhir in the presence of the National Guard Staff Director Major General Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Saud Al Khalifa. His Highness was received by senior National Guard officers and then was briefed upon the preparations of the branch. His Highness said that this inauguration comes according to the royal directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa in order to continue the development of the National Guard's military and administrative systems. He highlighted the great importance attached to MCA as part of the community partnership by providing all the requirements for National Guard affiliates and Bahraini citizens and residents. He pointed out that the National Guard is continuing the development of the security work system to achieve its goals within its national role in supporting the security services in the kingdom under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Council of Representatives held its 13th meeting of the second session of the fifth legislative term, chaired by its speaker, Fawziya Zainal. During the meeting, the Council discussed a report by the Foreign Affairs, Defense and Security Committee, Report No. 20 of 2019, before approving and referring it to the Shura Council. The Council then approved a statement in praise of the National Guard on its 23rd anniversary. The Council also approved a recommendation whereby families with unmarried orphans above the age of 21 would be still granted the right to request government-assisted housing, as well as other forms of subsidies. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs held its regular session presided over by its chairman, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa. The SCIA congratulated His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the 23rd anniversary of establishing the National Guard, hailing the efforts of the National Guard commander and affiliates, as well as the members of various security and military sectors, to maintain security and peace in the country. The Council welcomed the Kingdom's hosting of the 27th Contemporary Zakat Issues Symposium, organized by the Zakat and Charity Fund at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowment in cooperation with Zakat House in Kuwait. The Council reviewed the memorandum of the General Secretariat on the Chairman's participation in the fifth annual meeting of the Strategic Vision Group between Russia and the Islamic World held in the Rus Russian Republic of Bashkorostan. The Council also reviewed the General Secretariat's memorandum on the outcome of the visit of the Grand Mufti and head of Russia's Central Muslim Religious Board, Talat Safa Tajuddin, to the Kingdom. The Council also reviewed a memorandum by the Committee to follow up on the establishment of mosques and their annexes regarding the construction of mosques as part of the Council's annual plan. <laughs> 